Are you having trouble with the video and audio being out of sync in your Adobe Premiere Rush video editing project? Well, here's why that might be and how you can fix that. Let's get into it. You're here for a specific reason, and I was in that position as well. But after some search and thought, um, I finally was able to kind of comprehend why I was having that problem. It may be different for you, I'm sorry. So I may not be able to help with that, but for me, it was this one thing. So, as you know, Adobe Premiere Rush is a mobile editing app you can get for iPhone, Android, um, iPad, tablets, etc. It's a great video editing app. You can get pretty specific with your edits. Great at videoing app, other than this problem. So the other day I had a project I was doing in the app. I had imported a file that I had trimmed in the Photos app. That's the problem. Now this may not be the same with Android. It may. I'm not sure. I don't have an Android that I'm using this. But it could be the issue. Whether it's an iPhone or Android, you should try this out. So, if you trimmed it in the app before importing it into your video editor, beware of trouble. Don't know why there's not a way they can figure this out or if, why they haven't if there is. But it has to do with you trimming it. So Apple keeps the whole video file. They don't delete the rest because, as you can see, if you go back to edit that video again, you can revert to original. They keep the whole file, but they don't show you the trimmed out sections if you edit it. So when you revert it back to original, they just reattach those trimmed out segments and you get to see the whole thing again. Well, all along the file's been still there somewhere in the system. For some reason, that confuses the app. It starts the video at the beginning, but the audio is the same as the trimmed file. So you got the video that looks like the whole file, if that makes sense. You got the audio just from that trim portion and they smash it at the beginning of the video portion. Just a bunch of weirdness, but that's the problem. So if you go back to the app and say revert to original, it may not work. In fact, it probably won't because it didn't for me. But if it does for you, great, that makes it so much easier. You'll have to probably re-add that file though to the editor. That's likely not gonna work. So I'll show you how you actually might be able to fix it for yourself. Go to the Photos app or Gallery. If you revert the file to original, readmit that app to the editor and see if it works. If not, try this. So add in back all the trim file as possible. Not the whole thing, mind you. That's pretty close. Not exactly the same. And then push Done and push Save Video as New Clip. So that will give you a whole new clip that you can add in to your video editor. And it'll have to re-recognize and re um, identify it. So Adobe Premiere Rush has to treat it as a new file. I hope that helps. I just want to say the video and audio won't be exactly synced, but it should get it much closer to normal than it was. Once again, disclaimer, this may not work for everybody. This may not be your problem entirely. But if it is, check it out. It's probably what's happening. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a like if it was. Please comment and subscribe if you found this helpful. That would mean a lot. It took me some time to figure out myself, but I'm glad I didn't. And hopefully this could help you. If not, I'm sorry. Hopefully someone else can. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck and goodbye.